I wrote a song with lyrics made from ImageNet class labels. And then I used OpenAI's clip model together with a big GAN and a backpropagation procedure to generate a music video that fits the lyrics of the song. The song is performed on a live looper and the lyrics mean absolutely nothing. I hope you think this is as cool as I do. Enjoy. So how was this all made? See, if you want AI to generate you images, you have to have a model that learned from a data set. In our case, this is a generative adversarial model or a GAN. GANs are amazingly good at producing high quality images. The cool thing about a GAN is that what you need to do is you need to sample a point in what's called the latent space, and then you'll get out a picture in picture space. Now, if you have two points in latent space, you can also go from one to the other in a stepwise fashion. We call that interpolation or traversal. If you sequence those pictures one after another, it gives you a video of morphing one picture into the other. We came up with a picture for each line of lyric and then we simply traverse the latent space in sync with the music in order to produce this video. But how did we even get the initial pictures and how did we make them fit the text? That's where OpenAI's Clip model comes in. So Clip is a model that takes a piece of text and a picture and it will give you a number telling you how well the two fit together or not. 
Now that in itself will not be useful, but the useful part comes when you realize that the picture part of the pipeline is fully differentiable. That means we can backpropagate the error signal all the way to the image space. So what we do in practice is we take a clip and we put a piece of text, in our case, one line of lyrics. For the picture, we don't just put a picture, we actually put the output of a GAN. In our case, we use BigGAN that has been trained on a variety of images and can produce amazing images by itself. We take the output of BigGAN and feed it into the input of Clip. And now that we have all of this, we backpropagate the error that Clip tells us through the image part of Clip, through the GAN into the latent space of the GAN. So in essence, we start off with a random picture that might not fit the text at all. But then through backpropagation over many hundreds of steps, we find a point in the input space of the GAN that more and more and more makes the Clip model happy. Now this doesn't always give you very realistic images. However, it usually gives you pretty cool images. Like this one is the spine being a horizontal bar. It's not exactly horizontal, but still very, very cool. And this here is the face being a used doormat. I think this is amazing. So we feed each line of lyrics through this system, get out a point in the latent space that gives us a picture that is fitting to that line of lyrics. And then with all these points in the latent space, all we need to do is traverse them in order, synchronized up with the music, and we have ourselves a music video. For the song itself, I took ImageNet lyrics and made them into a song text. This isn't because I'm superbly musically talented or anything, but usually YouTube and music copyright aren't best friends. I just wanted to avoid all of that stuff, and so I came up with my own song. So the lyrics mean absolutely nothing, there's no hidden meaning. I struggled already enough to actually find some rhymes, and yeah, that's what came out. The song is played in a loop fashion, so all the songs are produced by me in some form or another. My gear is I use a Boss VE2 as a voice processor for harmonies, be my weasel, be my though I only use it at the very end in this song. I use a Boss RC500 for looping. It's pretty new to me and I still have my troubles with it. And the Boss Octave OC5 pedal. In order to simulate a bass with my guitar. My guitar is a Little Martin electroacoustic guitar. It sounds pretty good, honestly. The flaw in this setup is probably the microphone I used to record this with, as it is an iPad microphone and I didn't have anything else. I guess I could have used this one. Yeah, I was pretty stupid for not thinking of that. I can't whistle anymore. And yes, I did buy this combo after I saw Ed Sheeran perform live. Absolutely amazing. So usually I'm pretty comfortable playing in front of people. I have terrible stage fright, but I do overcome it pretty quickly. Cameras is a different thing. As soon as a camera's rolling, like my brain just turns off. So this was certainly my 20th attempt or so at recording this song, and not even now I have it down. So forgive a little bit of cracks in voices and my whistling was a bit tired at this point. I hope you still enjoy it. I'm gonna let the play the song one more time with a different generation of a music video and Like a horizontal bar. These 
These are just some things you'll find on ImageNet. A thousand cups of joy, but mostly things to pet. Be my weasel, be my pig, be my badger on offshore rig. Find a beagle, catch a slug, bring them all to my whiskey jug. Watch out for the king snake, the vine snake, the green snake. Don't forget the night snake, the sea snake, and the pug. Find the beagle, catch a slug, bring them all to my whiskey jug. And here I sit in my rocking chair, looking for my purple hair. What's inside that wooden chest? Is my bulletproof vest. I hear a board a collie cry, a birdie's mountain dog goes by, and all the while two hummingbirds stay near. Those are just some things you'll find on ImageNet. A thousand cuts of joy, but mostly things to pet. Be my weasel, be my pig, be my badger on an offshore rig. This is not all my work, it's built upon the work of many great people and I'll link to as much as I can in the description of the video, so please check this out. Uh, a lot of people have worked very hard um, and I'm simply building on top of them. And they're, the same people are actually pushing the state of the art of what's possible uh, with the clip model to an entirely new level that you wouldn't believe how cool this is. So check it out. I've also linked uh, my code uh, that I've used to produce the music video. You can produce your own if you want to or play around with it. Uh, special thanks to JR for helping me with the code. To Lance for editing and to you for watching. Ciao. Just some things you'll find on ImageNet. A thousand cuts of joy, but mostly things to pet. Be my weasel.